Chinook salmon are the largest of the Pacific salmon. Because of this, they are also called king salmon. They can grow as long as five feet, but the typical length of a mature fish is about three feet. Salmon are anadromous, meaning that they hatch in fresh water and then migrate out to the ocean to feed and grow. Their range includes the coast of Alaska to Northern California, along with Russian and Japanese waters. Chinook salmon have been introduced into numerous water bodies, including the Great Lakes. When they're in the ocean, Chinook salmon are blue-green on the back and top of the head with silvery sides and a white underside. The fish's tail, back, and upper fin have irregular black spots. In fresh water, when they are about to spawn, they change to olive brown, red, or purplish in color. The freshwater color change is especially evident in males. Spawning adult males can be recognized by their hooked upper jaw. Juveniles in freshwater have a pattern of vertical bars and spots on their sides that are useful for camouflage. These are called par marks. Before juveniles migrate to the sea, they lose their par marks and gain the color characteristics of fish living in open water. Juvenile salmon spend some time in the freshwater streams before moving to estuaries with a mix of freshwater and saltwater. As the salmon reach adulthood, they move out into the open ocean. Young Chinook salmon like to eat insects and small crustaceans. Adult salmon feed mostly on other fish. Salmon grow rapidly in the ocean and often double their weight during a single summer season. When adult Chinook salmon reach maturity, which can be anywhere from three to seven years of age, they make the long migratory journey back to their birth stream to reproduce. Some fish travel hundreds of miles upstream before they reach their spawning grounds. At their birth stream, male and female salmon pair up to breed. The time of breeding depends on the location and the population of salmon, but most breed in the summer and fall. The returning Chinook salmon dig out gravel nests, called reds, on stream or river bottoms where they lay their eggs. A female will deposit thousands of eggs before the male releases his sperm. A female Chinook salmon can deposit anywhere from 3,000 to 14,000 eggs in a nest. The reds can be up to 10 feet in diameter. After mating, the male and female guard the eggs in order to protect them from predators. Chinook salmon do not feed during their freshwater spawning migration. They burn a lot of energy migrating, breeding, and protecting their eggs. All Chinook salmon die shortly after spawning, before their eggs even hatch. The eggs hatch in spring. Because they die after spawning, their carcasses provide abundant food and nutrients to plants and animals, including tiny aquatic insects and other invertebrates that in turn provide food for other animals. Chinook salmon are a vital food source for a diversity of wildlife, such as killer whales, bears, seals, and large birds of prey. They are the primary food source of the endangered southern resident killer whales. During their life cycle, salmon transfer energy and nutrients between the Pacific Ocean and freshwater habitats. In areas that have experienced dramatic declines in salmon, there is a measurable deficit of nutrients to help support the ecosystem. The salmon are commonly harvested commercially and for personal use. Some of the threats to Chinook salmon include blocked access to spawning grounds and habitat degradation caused by dams and culverts, along with overfishing of their populations. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.